Those look so good. Those looking juicy, if I do say so myself. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Madison. If you're not new, how you doing? How you feeling? Welcome back. Okay, real quick before we start the video, just wanted to apologize because I definitely came out a video explaining that I was gonna come back. It's gonna be more consistent, right? So your girl right here filmed the whole video for y'all um of me getting ready for photo shoots because I know a lot of people want to know like behind the scenes of how I do that like at home. But right, I was editing it, you know, I was going, and your homegirl deleted the outro. We deleted the outro We're, with all the end results. It was just, I could have cried, but instead I didn't. And I was like, you know, I'm going to redo it because I wasn't going to put a video that wasn't complete. And I, was, I wasn't really feeling the video anyway. So, you know, like everything happens for a reason. I'm going to redo it, make it shorter because it was almost like an hour video. And I know nobody was about to sit up an hour of me basically doing complete nonsense so i thought okay i need to upload a video this week so i asked y'all and a lot of y'all wanted to see me try and sew something for the first time on my new sewing machine i got so that's what we're gonna do um and i'm also gonna be filming another youtube video that's probably gonna come next next week yeah probably next week i'm gonna try a new morning routine but that's not gonna come till later but i'm gonna give this video to you guys now so before we get into it make sure you subscribe and just stick along for the ride okay so you might be thinking madison what are we sewing what are we going to create today so not even gonna lie to y'all i've never sold a day in my life um i just got my sewing machine for christmas because you know as me wanted to be a model you know you have to be very um what's the word i'm looking for hmm gotta be a fashionista you gotta know how to put things together what colors go with what and i feel like what's better than not learning how to make your own clothes and how to upcycle stuff right so i asked for a sewing machine well i didn't really ask for one it was more like offered to me and of course i was gonna say yes of course i was gonna say yes so said yes got the machine i used it for the first time like a couple weeks ago to like learn how to like put everything together we got all that i might have to refresh my memory so don't judge but it's okay so instead of me trying to make something from scratch i'm going to take this if i can get off of it this oversized gray t-shirt that my um what is his name my grandfather wow <laughs> my grandfather gave me like three years ago it's like pretty like short on me now that's why we're gonna use it to make like a dress so we're gonna make it go from this to actually like fit. Ooh, Pito, wait, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Okay, anyways, let me let me stop hyping myself up. Like, let me let me take a seat. But anyways, we're gonna turn this into a form-fitting dress. I'm gonna like show you inspiration on the screen. But you're gonna come along for the ride. I don't know how this is gonna go because I'm basically gonna be watching a tutorial as I film not a tutorial but me trying to do it and y'all just laugh at me along the way so um that's basically it. i'm gonna show you what kit i bought the sewing machine i have and we're just gonna get started so let's go oh let's go on right first of all pause if anybody else listened to the new brant fires song which i was about to say somebody else tyler the creator and steve steve lacy on the guitar can we really talk about it okay so we're back at a lego okay fur okay so this is the machine it's a singer six i can't i well, i don't know why my brain is not allowing me to say this word right i have redid this clip like 20 times sing singer 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 s-i-n-g-e-e-r that is the machine it's good for beginners because i know a lot of my friends have it um it's really good it's a little bit heavy and it's small but you know for a first timer great um and this is the sewing kit i have it's the Vel velo star um kit i'll show you what comes inside of it just a warning when you buy this is gonna smell like plastic it's not a very pleasing smell but it comes with oops 
I don't know what this is. Like, let me bring it closer. If you know what this is, um, the machine, the, the, the kit fell. Anyway, whatever this is, um, you should let me know what it is because I don't know what this that's called. Okay, so in the machine, it comes with a bunch of different colored bread from colorful to black to white. Um, and then it comes with scissors, measuring tape, um, uh, uh, what's, what is it called? The thing that unseams your clothes. That's what it does. It unseams the clothes. A seam ripper! A seam ripper! That's what it's called. A, pe a colored pencil so you can mark the clothes. I think this is a tweezer. Um, pins, a push, a pin cushion. It looks like a little yellow pumpkin. Isn't it? And then um, a bunch of other bobbins. I don't think those bobbins fit my machine. You're gonna need class 15 bobbins for this. So I don't even know if these fit. I think they're a little bit too big. And safety pins, you know, all the beginner stuff you need when you um, start sewing. So first, before we get into actually sewing the dress, we need to get the bobbin stuff ready for the, 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 the machine. So I don't know what color thread I'm gonna need so just give me one second while i figure that out so i figured out instead of just using common sense i'm going to use this really light if it would focus come on camera can we can we focus we're going to use this color thread you know i'm trying to like the youtubers in and and show you but it, i doesn't think you want to focus so um we're gonna use this thread i would use you can use white or black because it works but basically what you have to do, right, is you have to um, put this, this right on this piece right here. First of all, I need to get the, the thread out. Just give me one moment while I do that because this is going to take me a minute. Because um, the way these come, it's like the thread is like tuck, tucked under all the other thread. Um... But it's like so tedious to get out. Like, I don't know how they expect you to get this out without messing up the whole thing. Wow, I did it. Look at me talking all that shit. Look at me talking all that shit and I just did it in two seconds. It's because y'all watching. Put this right through here and you just take it and then you go oh, around. Sorry, I wasn't showing because I needed to figure it out myself. Then you use this thing. And you take it right around town. And then you pull it. And the bobbin is supposed to go here. So let me put y'all back. So basically you put the thread from point A. Get it from here. Pull it through the loop. You go around this little silver thing. And then you put the bobbin... Um, you put the thread in the bobbin and then you put the bobbin over here and you start, it spindles, right? That's what it's, what it's called, you spindle the thread? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it at the top, right? There's like holes at the top of the bobbin. Mm -hmm. So you got to put it through the, through the top of the bobbin, right? Right, uh-huh. And then if it would go through, yo, you, was in, you were embarrassing me. Uh-huh, look, we got it to the top of the bobbin. And then you have to hold it, push it on this little silver thing. This little, push it onto the silver thing right here. And then you move it that way, right? Uh-huh. And then, if I, I have to turn the machine on first. If, so the machine is on. And then you basically step on the pedal that's on the floor. And look, 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 just watch it. Look at it go! Wait, I lost the, the thread. No, look at me. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Okay, so we kind of had to take a commercial break. You saw the technical difficulties. And if you didn't see them, depending if I put them in the video or not, basically I was having issues with the bobbin situation, but we figured it out. Um, basically, I put the bobbin in the bottom and um i put the thread through the machine and tested it on this random like you know like when you buy a swimming a swimsuit and 
like the padding inside the swimsuit so i basically tested it to make sure like it was good and this is um the stitch very good we're ready why does it look like a butt cheek like don't drop that da, da, da. okay i'm a child anyways um now that the thing is ready you're basically gonna watch me watch a tutorial as i try to turn this into something cute so first things first i saw you have to get something like a dress they already have right that's form fitting on you and you're basically gonna cut the the shirt to be that size so i'm going i don't know if i'm going to show you this i probably am going to show you i just need to figure out a, a camera angle so i'm basically going to find something that's um tight on me and trace it over this so i'll be back in to, to, to show you okay so you're probably wondering what are we doing okay so i moved it to the bed so you can see what I'm doing. First of all, can we talk about my new bed sheets? Giving us very graffiti, very cute. My mother bought them for me for Christmas. Shout out to you all. Um, basically, in the tutorial, she said, first, flip your shirt inside out. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the sleeves off. And then what you're going to do is you're basically going to cut the shirt in the outline of a dress that you already have that fits you the way you want it to fit you. So that's what we're gonna do. We got my handy dandy scissors and we're gonna get to work. I got it on it! The sleeves are off. Phew. Phew, you can always use, don't ever throw away fabric. Um, Just saying, you can use fabric to make anything. You can use this tiny piece of fabric to make something. So don't throw it away. Always keep your fabric if you need it. So now that the sleeves are off, um, now we get to cut the dress in the shape that you want if you want sleeves get a shirt that like have like a dress that already has sleeves but i'm just gonna cut it to the silhouette of this dress and see how it goes so see this i should have listened to imani when she told me to buy that freaking chalk but it was too expensive i was like i am poor poor so I didn't buy it, but I'm gonna have to buy some because this is just not gonna work for me. This is a no for me, dog. Like, what is this even doing? First of all, I'm blind too. How am I even supposed to see this? This this light blue pencil. What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Nothing. I'm put my glasses on, look like a grandmother. Just, I was wasting my time because I just lifted up the, the fabric and you can still see the you can't even see the thing so we're just gonna first of all you can't even see my face we're just gonna have to eyeball this and and hope for the best just cut okay little tip that i also learned leave a little bit of extra fabric because you'd rather be a little loose and you can like tighten it as you go than doing it too tight and it don't fit you girl because this fabric ain't really that stretchy so we're gonna cut a little bit away from the fabric just in case. I messed up. Um, I kind of cut this side too close. So now I'm going to have to cut this side closer. I'm such a dickhead. I swear. This is why... I don't do anything creative. Fuck! Get it high in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so high. I don't want to take my clothes off. Let's get it high in here. So take off all your clothes. Angel is the center of Angel is the center of I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. The dance break. Now we have both of the sides. The extra fabric is off. So now it matches the the silhouette of this dress. Wow. This dress gonna be tight as fuck. But um now I'm gonna take you guys back to the sewing machine and we're gonna get to sewing.
Okay, no angle. Okay, no angle. So, um, today we're gonna be using my pins for the first time. Peep rainbow pins. Peep the right. Wait, I have to make sure they're in the thing right. Peep the rainbow pins. Okay, per rainbow pins on deck. So now that we have the the dress cut out, I didn't cut out the like the neckline because um. I like the neckline on me. So if you want to cut the neckline to something that's like more V or whatever, you could do that. But I chose not to. So I'm going to um, pin the sides together and then sew it. Um, I don't. I need to watch to see how she. If I have to like overlap the the fabric or whatever. But let me move this to the side and pin this together so all the corners meet up so oh before i get into my complaining i pinned the, the oh, let me turn around you can see i pinned the sides together so it doesn't come undone but I, I was about to watch the youtube tutorial to see what i gotta do now you know and you saw how you was struggling to cut the sides you know um sis cut one side and then matched up with the other side so it was even. So it was even. And I'm probably going to have two lopsided sides and they're probably going to be uneven. But you know what? This is what y'all came for, right? For me to have a brain fart and do something wrong. So anyways, let me see how she sews it so I can show you me sewing it. I keep changing the angles. I know. I'm so sorry. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap the the sides of the dress so it doesn't look like i cut it and uh we're basically gonna start sewing I got this is my first like actual project so don't judge me it looked like she like let me start from i'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up we're gonna go backwards so I think what she did was she took this and basically, wait, this is so confusing. I might have to ask Mama Dukes for assistance. Give me one second, you're about to see mom. My mother is gonna come and explain to us um, what needs to be done. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait for her. Okay, so I apologize for the pause, but we were having a lot of issues with the machine, but now we're back. So basically, my mother drew me, like, a line to follow when it comes to, like, um, this part of the dress so it can sew properly. So we're just doing it slow and steady because we want this to come out as good as possible. So if the speed up, if the sped up version is kind of looks like I'm taking my time, it's because I am. What did I do? <laughs> it was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. <laughs> no, I can't cut this out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's just show. The, look. So she, Let me go eat my dinner. So <laughs> so your <yeah>, shit. She, <laughs> she wanted to help me, right? To, to sew this together so there's supposed to be a sleeve right here right over here but since she took the pin out she forgot and she sewed it closed how am i supposed to wear this <laughs> oh my god now i'm gonna have to undo the seam yep that's exactly what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to <coughs> undo the seam and make room for a sleeve but this is what the dress looks like so far i'll be right back Alrighty, so we're gonna take our handy dandy tiny seam ripper and we're gonna um take the seam out like up to here so i have rooms for my arms and probably i'll do a little bit less so it doesn't look too baggy Bro, that was so funny. Sis really was so confident what she was doing as she closed my my sleeve shut.
this is what like this side of the dress looks like all sewed and closed and then this is the open side so you saw what it looked like before it was really big but now it's gonna be nice and tight and hopefully it fits because i took off too much like i said so we'll see it doesn't fit so as you can tell like i said i cut off too much and i had a feeling this was gonna happen but i was trying to have faith in myself but basically since i cut off too much and my booty kind of grew i can't close this and if i try to it's not gonna fit me so this is this is what we have um first of all the sewing was good like the stitching but um it's just not gonna close because i could close it like on the machine but if i try to put this on it's not gonna fit i'm trying to do this without showing my entire titty on youtube because that's not good however i hope you guys enjoyed watching this um we're probably gonna make more videos like this of me trying to create stuff i'm always trying to make me like get shoelaces and like make a little thing however um i don't have shoelaces and i just know it's not gonna fit love it's just not gonna work but hope you guys enjoyed um comment comment down below what else you want me to see what what else you want me to see mm. Mm -hmm. i don't want to see nothing what you want to see from me and um uh, make sure you like this video and i hope ooh, you need the, oh, first of all why i thought my my elbow hole this part was the muscle i was like oh look at my muscles but i am frail as hell but i hope you guys enjoyed to you and I will see you in the next one. I love you. Mwah.